Welcome to the IBM Podcast Network. You're listening to the podcast presented by the Daily Pal. This is Pranuti and Amit. And we're from the dailypow.com, a Bombay-specific culture and food website. And this is our weekly podcast, The Powdcast. Uh, now, on this episode, we have with us Fredun Medora and Ritika Junjunwala. The two of them are with a textile consultancy called Itiha. And we're going to be talking to them about their work. Uh, this is an installment of the scene in which we talk about culture in the city. So stay tuned for the scene. The scene. So in this episode of The Scene, it's just Amit and me. Uh, we should mention that our partner Purva is missing in action. She's uh, on holiday <laughs> as usual. <laughs> um, so we have with us uh, Fredun Madhora and Ritika Junjunwala who run a textile consultancy called Itiha. And so, so Fredun, you know, you founded, you founded Itiha. And, you know, tell us about the idea behind it. And Itiha, before you start, I should mention that the reason we're talking to the two of them is that they run a series of workshops mm-hmm. yes. um, at the Bhauda Jilad Museum and at places like Artisans. And yeah, these are... a gallery in Kalagoda. Exactly. And um, these are uh, craft workshops like the yeah, Shibori, Tai and Dai, yes. Gond painting, etc. And so this is, the, this is the reason we're talking to these guys. So, so tell us how Itiha started. So... Um, Ritika is in um, textiles and she's doing this for the last nine years mm-hmm. and uh, she's a professor at uh, Sophia's. And the whole idea started, well, we felt uh, the folk art in, in India is kind of losing out. It's going in the background. And uh, we felt it is necessary for those artisans who are there all over India who have really good talent and they need to be out there. They mm-hmm. need to be somewhere seen. And it's not just them. It's the art form in itself. Right. The way they do it and how they how they actually create the art is important. Mm-hmm. Nowadays in the modernization and, and all these other technological advances, the way the art is performed and the way mm-hmm. the craft is uh, done is lost. Yeah. So we felt that uh, it is necessary that we take those. She has knowledge of it. I mean, it's it's her brain child at the end of the day, and uh, we needed to we needed to get this out. So mm-hmm. last year we we set up our company, mm-hmm. uh, Ethia, and we felt that it should actually tie up with artisans and folk artists mm-hmm. all across India, get their talents into the mainstream mm-hmm. like Mumbai. Currently, Mumbai, maybe later on, other uh, mm-hmm. metros, and showcase those arts and teach them mm-hmm. because we feel that teaching them yeah. uh, and uh, dispersing knowledge about mm-hmm. the art it has much more value and can sustain the art for a longer time than just talking about it. So, teaching it is important, and we felt workshops are the right way to do it, and hence we started the workshops. Yeah. So what is your background? I mean, are you sort of involved in textiles? So I, I'm not, I, I don't have any textiles <laughs> uh, knowledge. I, I, I'm, an, I'm an entrepreneur, okay. basically. My background is in entrepreneurship. Uh-huh. Uh, you have a pharma company? Uh, we, we have a pharma, we have a healthcare company. Okay. We are a group of companies. So we do, we do healthcare, we do uh, uh, loads of other things. Mm-hmm. We do oral radiology, we do dentistry, we do uh, lots of other things. And but that, for this us, is kind of like... I mean, fairly, uh, you know, diverse. Diverse yes, it's from fa- fairly that. diverse, but needed. Uh, why? Because we have the same view of seeing to it that the people in mm. India have a lot of talent, yeah. have a lot of uh, perseverance, but no opportunity. Mm-hmm. So they can definitely do something. And uh, this is relatively easier and simpler. You don't require degrees. You, you require talent and that's yeah. it. Yeah. If you have talent and if you're taught of a particular skill you can start it immediately yeah. it's not very capital intensive uh, it is not uh, it is not something that requires a a certification uh, of any sort so why not right so i mean how do these workshops how do they actually work i mean you get artisans from 
across the country i mean do you want to tell us about how you get in touch with them do you have a network of artisans yeah. so we have tie ups with more than 260 artisans across the country okay what we do is we go and live with them first learn the way they do it mm-hmm. live the way they live eat what they eat learn the art completely and then get them over here so you've so, done this so yeah whatever. so give us an example where have For you gone for example uh, just uh, last month we were in rajasthan mm-hmm. we were researching on natural dyes and how block printing works the resin style of block printing works mm-hmm. after our visit to rajasthan we got the artist here for 7 days where he was a part of the art and textile week which we had at artist center and uh, we had more than 150 people who participated in the art and textile week where they could benefit from the artist who taught them natural dyes block printing resin style block printing uh, direct style so uh, plus they are very since they were from rajasthan he is very very good at uh, bandhani and all mm-hmm. of that so we teach shibori he could give a little sense of uh, bandhani to the uh, crowd right. that came in right so this is how we do so, so i have myself been to uh, shri kala hasti also where, where is uh, this this is one one and a half hour from tirupati okay and it's very very well known for kalamkari right and i've learned under mr gurappa chetty okay and then now uh, there is an artist called niranjan who's gurappa chetty's son he comes to teach for ritiha right. so we have people who are uh, very well known Gurappa Chetty ji is a Padma Shri mm-hmm. and his son is also a national award winning artist. Okay. So we first learn it ourselves, right. understand the thing and then get it here. So people get the uh, the right essence, the correct uh, they learn it from the right hands. Mm-hmm. Right. Could you tell us a little bit more about your own background with textile? So I am a textile designer. I've done my textile designing from Sofias. After that uh, I did my retail management from NIFT, and a lot of it is self-learned. <laughs> so right, yeah. Well, so I'm, how do you approach these guys? I mean, since it's you know you you want to go and like you have to have this network. You go and live with them. You know, what is that process like? So whenever I go somewhere on a leisure trip, also mm-hmm. I see to it that I get in touch with the local artists mm-hmm. over there, uh, speak to them, talk to them, get in touch with them. and then tie up and then next time when i go i go for work okay this is how we get in touch with the artists and what is the response been so far to your workshops i mean do are people eager to learn yeah. yeah and is it what kind of like skill level because some of these things and i i, I don't know whether i read it somewhere in an interview that you guys had done that you, these are not sort of casual things you need to be sort of serious about what you're doing mm-hmm. and you know this like kalamkari for example is a fairly skilled uh, yeah and they're fairly thing. skilled intricate thing so firstly like who are these targeted at and like what has been the response so yeah uh response has been phenomenal it's it's awesome people from all walks of life mm-hmm. we have a, we had the youngest one was i think about 4 and a half years old and the eldest one was about 92 yeah yeah 92 and we have from all walks of life mm-hmm. uh everywhere across mumbai some people come in from pune some people come in from different cities they call us think hey can you make it here or mm-hmm. uh, we have requests coming in from from all over india actually right now saying that why don't you we have a cafe we have a, a place mm-hmm. take a 20 day workshop here or so the response has been good mm-hmm. the skill set that you say depends on on what kind of workshop it is like we have these uh, general just do it yourself kind of workshops mm-hmm. and those workshops are are simple you me anybody anybody can do it mm-hmm. it's fun and once you start doing it and it lasts for what about from 2 hours to say 7 hours so those are the ones you've been typically doing uh, the those are the ones we are doing Baudaji. we also have a like a 2 day 3 day course on on like certain things like leather mm-hmm. uh, batik and and kalamkari for example you need not be an artist mm-hmm. you need not be somebody who is a professional painter for but you should be somewhat interested in what is being taught because we do a lot of theory as well and by theory you're talking about you know the history of the craft just history of the craft the way it's done the techniques which are relevant to what is going to be taught in the next two days uh and why mm-hmm. why they're doing what they're doing that is most important mm-hmm. 
because if they don't understand why they have to do how they do, they will never learn to experiment and that is what we encourage people to do and um I guess maybe one of the reasons why these workshops are so popular and we've been listing them with an um, increasing frequency. Uh, you started doing them when? In December last year? When, we, we started a uh, kind of official workshop in November end. Okay. Uh, but we used to take, uh, I believe in the learning curve and she believes in the learning curve. Mm-hmm. So first we didn't put it out there. Mm-hmm. We started a group of people we got it we learned ourselves mm. saw where our hiccups come yeah. how to operate them and then we promoted them actively from november last okay. year okay well tell us about your design consultancy and how that's connected with the workshops so uh, ethia is actually uh, like a three pronged thing one is the workshops mm-hmm. and we get get together people and artists second is design consultancy where we give designs to whoever wants to buy and 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 we have this set of things because ethia has to be workshops in itself are not very revenue generation mm-hmm. as well so the designs goes to anyone who wants to buy and those designs are kind you can link them to whatever you want so if you want a, a gaunt specific design or you want a tie and dye specific design and you can have this entire like a set of 20 designs a set of 50 designs but or so. these designs are all um, Indian designs I mean there's not I mean a, a design is a design not necessarily Indian origin mm. arts of it can be anything it can be abstract it can be psychedelic it can be anything okay. so it depends on what the client wants uh, depends on what the client wants depends on the end use of the design mm-hmm. uh, if if it's for a, a fabric which goes in a, in a hotel and, and there's a diff- design according to that and which goes on school bags, different okay. designs. So definitely diff- different from different. Uh, and we and our third prong, which is related to design consultancy and workshops, is the way we, we set up manufacturing okay. for people who are interested. Okay. We, we set up. Mm-hmm. So how we do that is we give them the idea we 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 ideate and say that hey this is how you do the, your your whatever you intend to do so if they want to set up something for tie and dye and if you want to, they want to have their own range of uh, dresses and they want to do it so we tell them that if you want to do it the original way to do it this is the equipment you need this is how you want to set up this is how uh, you can do it and we connect the artist okay. and say hey you can train the artist earns mm-hmm. the client gets his setup and the client actually gets something which is authentic yeah. which is not processed you know mm-hmm. uh, so that is what we do mm-hmm. so th- so that is how all three connect we need the design consultancy to get in touch with people who want to also get into mm-hmm. touch manufacturing manufacturing once it sets up it gets those cl- uh, w- artisans from all across who do not have an avenue mm-hmm. S- so many companies buy things from artisans and from folk artists and everything and they they don't pay them well right. they're just they're just mm-hmm. like small vendors but when they sell them mm-hmm. they have this handmade yeah. made by us uh, tr- tribal in Artisan. india yeah, yeah. yeah and it's very hypocritical mm-hmm. but that's how it goes so we kind of want to get into that and where where it's fair Actually, not just fair trade logo on it or a safe. It's actually fair mm-hmm. for the artists and say, yeah. hey, man, you yeah, take. You were also talking about an NGO that you work with. Yeah. So uh, it's a foundation and uh, it's called Inkling India. And Oh, sorry. This is a foundation that you run. Yes. Okay. And it teaches basically how it connects to ETIA and how it connects to the concept mm-hmm. is that we feel children do not have their opportunity to, to learn. Uh, parents can hardly uh, impoverish backgrounds. They can hardly put them in school. Forget anything. They don't even give them footwear. So if if a child is really good in say tabla, but the child has never touched a tabla, never never seen one, so how how will it know it's good at? So probably even graduate, get a job, and and stagnate. And so basically everybody talks about skill India and skill this and skill that, but. Finding the skill and and developing the skill, nobody has any vague idea. I mean, the, nobody has any idea. Forget vague. So we set up a group of say about fifty students, and we teach them arts and crafts, speech, drama, diction. We teach them music, and music is about say tabla, keyboard, mm-hmm. and guitar. 
and we teach them everything. So we have the six month um, course for these each uh, batch of 50 students where they're taught everything from Monday to Saturday, two hours in the evening. And they're taught everything. So out of then, then the teacher then picks out saying that, hey, I think you're good in speech and drama. I think you're good in uh, arts and crafts. I think you're good in this instrument. So it gives an inkling to mm-hmm. the to the child and says, hey, I may be good at it. Mm-hmm. So the next part, the child knows that now that I'm kind of good at it. Then we can actually, if we have a group of students, we can tailor make and enhance those mm-hmm. skills. In the future, we intend to even empower them that we can give them some micro loans and ask them to start something they're mm-hmm. good at. And that can be gone. That can be... That can be uh, tie and die, yeah. and tie and die is very famous because it's very easy. Right. There is no uh, assay fixed technique mm-hmm. to it, so that kind of answers your question. But so for these kids, mm-hmm. then they have avenues, opportunities, and by the time they develop, grow up, even even Ethia will grow, even Inkling will grow, and and they will be able to connect children to what they may be good at. So and do you all work with any particular sc- municipal schools for this? Or how do you all sort of reach so, out? Uh, so basically we started uh, in a school in St. Joseph in Vadala. And we had three students initially and through word of mouth. Mm-hmm. And then we had to stop admissions in a week. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you now you have about 50 students. Yeah, we have 50 students. Yeah. Great. So that's it for this week. Thanks so much, yeah, thanks uh, for being Ritika on the show. and Fedun. Yeah. And uh, we'll be back next week. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you so you. much. Thanks. For more on what's happening in the city, read the dailypow.com. Also, subscribe to our newsletter on the website. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're the Daily Pow. And you can find this podcast every Monday on the IVM podcast app or any other podcasting app that you prefer and on the dailypow.com. The podcast is an IVM production and if you enjoy listening to our show, you should definitely check out Simplified. Hosted by Chuck, Narayan and Shriket, Simplified takes big complex issues and simplifies it to help you appear smarter at parties. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. Sorry to say, but there's been a slight delay due to the apocalypse having suddenly begun. As you can see, there's death, destruction and chaos taking place all around us. But don't you worry, food and drinks will be served shortly and I would recommend checking out IVM Podcasts to get some of your favorite Indian podcasts. We'll keep you going till this whole thing blows over. Thank you.